Hello everyone, my name is Albert and welcome back to our One EP Studios video. And well, what is it this time? Well, as you read the title, I've got it in Blender. And I love hate it. But hey, you're here to learn how to export Blender stuff to, well, MD. How do you do that? Well, first, you're going to need to install, to install a plugin. That is that, which is going to be down in the description below. There's going to be a link to the GitHub page and the tools is called. And just before I start all this, one, this is not for dummies. You need some Blender knowledge. Second, make a backup because this add-on or script or whatever you want to call it is going to alter your Blender file. So just make a backup. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's begin. After installing this plugin, you're going to have a new option in that menu. Create MD model. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it just like this. And add it. I want to scale it down. Well, and there you go. After that, if your mesh doesn't have any bones, you can just add everything with waiting to this bone. If everything went well, or if you want to check if everything went well, just start empty and move it. If everything moves, you're good to go. Also, just a tiny little thing that I forgot. Well, as the add-on just adds a marble bone, Make sure if you have a model that has more bones to just add the model as if you were adding a marble bone. It is as simple as that. And well, just after that, clicking the, ex clicking the empty and exporting it is just it. Just make sure if you have a model with multiple bones, like an armature and such, add that bone that I have created as your marble bone. Also, I'll be answering uh, any comments I get in the comment section or and if you have any questions well click on there out essentially what this plugin does is well make a bone those symbols right here mean bone or root or necessarily i don't know what they mean but in uh, the jp tab on your bone's name in tmx you see the same symbols so this is just bone. Before going ahead and clicking export, just so it saves you the hassle, go into the material properties and go to your materials. And right here where it says MD texture, add or re add your textures. Don't look at all those. Okay, so here's the thing like I said, this will alter your Blender file. And well, as you see right here, I have a flip top normal. So I'm going to flip it back around. And just double check if everything is all right. After that is as simple as just clicking empty, going to file, export, PMX, and there's a folder. And you're good to go. The model is now exported. There you go. It is as simple as that. About the importing process, I'm not going to go too far into it, but I'm going to say that it's just almost as seamless as the importing process but you will have to well redo some textures just because this add-on was created before blender 2.8 and well you need cycles and well this add this add-on was created with cycles in mind but right here as you see i'm using ev so keep that in mind when importing 
As you saw, the exporting process is very, very simple. And well, let's say that if you want to see more tutorials like this, just because I got the Blender and I'm planning on doing a lot more stuff with it, well, likes and comments are what help my video the most, and also subscribers, that's what keeps me going. If you want to help me, subscribe. It's, well, free. Anyway, I was Albert from Unity Studios. Thanks for watching.